popular fun thing to do on a rainy weekend is stay in and eat. That's one of my favorite pastimes. We're going to head over to the kitchen right now. We're welcoming Chef Scott to the kitchen this morning. Hey, guys. That's right. Eat, but you got to make it so you can eat it. And we have Chef Scotty Williams here from the Riley Street Station in the village of East Aurora. And you are going to make bruschetta, but we're going to talk about the chicken angelique first. I've never even heard of that. What is chicken angelique? Well, it's a dish we, we created at uh, the restaurant. It's uh, a dish that you can use the bruschetta mix. Everyone's used to using bruschetta mix just on toasted baguettes. Right. So what we decided to do is in incorporate it into a couple other dishes so the bruschetta mix itself stays nice and fresh and vibrant. Excellent. So it's basically a pasta dish. What a lot of people don't realize that you have to learn to do other things with pasta. We, uh, you know, I make pasta specials all the time, and the creativity is waning. Now I can smell. We haven't even started cooking. I can smell all the tomatoes oh, yeah. and the onions. Everything, great spices. We all, always use fresh herbs. Our produce is the freshest we could get. Okay, now let's tell folks some of the ingredients that they're going to need for this dish. Okay, basically bris bruschetta is Roma tomatoes, or everyone okay. calls them plum tomatoes. Yep. Nice, ripe, red, firm. Okay. Uh, we're going to use some red onions, some fresh garlic, mm. some fresh basil. Okay. And good olive oil. Good olive oil. You know what? It looks like the can that Joe brought me from his father from Italy. <laughs> All right. So and then just a little salt and pepper. And that's it. That's and that's a good bruschetta. Chicken breasts, or does it matter? Chicken with ribs, meat? Chicken breasts we're going to use today. Boneless? Boneless chicken breasts. Okay. And the, syrup. the time that it takes to prepare this meal? Uh, prep time, maybe 10 minutes, cooking time. Five for dinner for two. That's perfect for all the mothers out there who don't have a lot of times, or the fathers. How about that? All right, so Chef Scotty and I are going to come back and uh, see if we can get this dish started when we come back.